Hi, good day. I'm gonna show you how to install and configure the Squid Proxy Server. So, let's start it. Okay. First of all, what is a proxy server? Well, a proxy server is kind of man in the middle service. So, for example, you have your I'm just gonna be quick because YouTube only allows 10 minutes so uh, I don't wanna take too much time so, but if you have any questions feel free you can ask me and if I can answer them so this is your internet okay it's a globe or whatever you have and then you have a modem and then you have your router okay this is my setup now from the router sometimes it's like this one you have the server here okay and then you have what you call the workstations right workstation 1 workstation 2 1 2 now the squid proxy server resides here okay in this server okay now what you will do is that from your browser on the workstation you will point that browser the proxy address to your proxy server and that is the IP address of this one so the IP address of this one for example is let's say 192.168.0.50 that's, that's our example and the port is 3128 since it's serving something it must have a port so that proxy configuration should point out to this one okay so when your workstation access the internet it will get redirected first to the server and then the server will get that request here in the internet and then back again and then to back to your workstation so just basically how a proxy server works now when you go to your Firefox you will see there a proxy server setting like mine here I'm using an Ubuntu machine and preferences right and settings see can you see this one now here's what I'm talking about you put the IP address of the server here and you put the port number of the server so that's how, that's it that's how, what um, proxy server is thanks for watching uh, on the next video I'm gonna show you how to install I'm gonna show you how to install this good server you just launch your terminal and then you type there you go now if you uh, already installed mine so you may need to download yours and after that's installed you will list all the process in your machine and fa look for the word squid okay so if you can see this line over here then it's running and then after that you need to configure the configuration file edit it okay so it opens this one and then you're good to go thank you hello um, what we're going to talk about in this video is how to configure the squid server so that you can allow websites and disallow websites and what have you now let's start it the squid is controlled by access control lists so we make an access control list by ACL and then we put a name of the ACL for example good sites and then we type TST domain and the name of the site followed it by um, period now the period is very important because sometimes websites have subdomains and we want also to include them and if you're you think that if it if you remove that you'll only want you'll be only redirected for this site you'll be only allowed for this site so just put it there and you can also put here um, bad sites for example now let's try Facebook something like that.com and we 
can also access control list indicate your users or the directors something like that and you have source and for example you put here the IP address of the machine it can also be in CID or form like this one it just means that it's from 1 to 255 okay 255 now uh, since my machine is 50 I put 50 there also you can specify times good times and then put their time and then Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so bear in mind. or you can just put D I think but I haven't tried it yet and just put the time 8 o'clock oh sorry 8 o'clock to 23 o'clock maybe now after you define your access control list you can be safe now to allow them HTTP access allow directors okay if we put this one line here it just it means that all IP addresses if we redirect all IP addresses of the, uh, the proxy setting of this IP address will be redirected to this proxy server and there will be no limits okay unless you put only here allow good sites if you put this here then the IP address here is only allowed this website okay so let's try that we we'll just first we'll try this one I'll save it if you save it you need to do something like sudo etsy init.d squid restart okay and it's going to restart the squid proxy server and then you see it's okay now we launch the firefox make sure that it's already running a proxy settings right okay and if we go to facebook uh, everything is loaded Okay, because even though if it's using the proxy, it's still there. Now let's go back to configuration. Okay, let's go back to this rule. If we only allow good sites, okay, good sites only. Now this is where it will limit whatever is in here. Okay. Well, I have an update. Um, I'll just do that later. Okay, and then restart the proxy server again. Now this one, when it's doing like this one, it's going to take a lot of time. What I usually do is just go press Control C, and if you Control C and then you re restart it again, now it will be just fast. Uh, it works for me. Maybe you could also try it if you're in a hurry. I don't know what effects it will get, but as you can see. But it usually works for me. Facebook is now not allowed for the director. I'm the director here. I'm, I have the server right here. I am this machine right here. Okay. So I specified it here. Now, what if you only want to allow this time? So you also put good times. Okay. So good sites and good times. So it's eight o'clock right now. As you can see, we're we have we are in between of these times. So my director can be allowed the good side, and at this time. So if we add there something like um, nba.com, okay, and then we close this one and we restart the server. Okay, so now that we we will we should be passing all those rules and NBA so it's 8 o'clock and NBA is ready but I s think Facebook is still not so that's how you configure a server and one more thing